Ó, oh, babushka, babushka, babush. Ja. Hã? Because, é. Ja, ja. 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 I was just wondering, what is it that you know about street art? I don't really have a particular interest in it, but I don't mind looking at it. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I lived in Melbourne for a long time and they've got lots of laneways filled with, um, with urban art, so I yeah, really enjoy seeing it. I see a lot of it, but I couldn't say that I, see, I know a lot about it. Just what I see when I walk past it. How much? Well, originally I had um, a lot of emails through artist friends saying you should really go for this because there's you used to love doing street art in the city and there were huge fines if you got caught doing anything and I thought I really want to put my stuff up around Sydney. Sydney doesn't have like a feel that maybe Melbourne does so I thought oh, I'll have a go and um, yeah I just I really I love the the ability to do a paste up and to have it be such a temporal piece. Well for the initiative I created a set of Abushka dolls because they're so hot right now. What do you think about this street art in particular? I like it. I, I hadn't really taken much notice of it before. It's pretty cool. I prefer. I actually prefer spray painted stuff, but that's pretty cool, I guess. I really, really loved it actually, and especially when the second part came up with um, the Kate Bush song, which just made me laugh. I did have a bit of an earworm in my ear every morning coming into work, but uh, yeah, no, it's been good. I don't know the meaning of a lot of it, but it's interesting to look at. I've never seen the Bushka dolls as street art before, so yeah, it's the first time. It's different. They represent my family and my family's history in, in and around Sydney. Initially the dolls were made out of funnelette material because I was brought up in Western Sydney. I pretty much took photos of all my babushka dolls in really relevant places over the years that Dad used to take us to through Sydney. If my audience was only meant for one person, it was initially meant for my parents. What is it that you think of the City of Sydney's initiative to actually take these disused laneways and alleyways and give them to street art? I think it's a perfect idea. I mean, you need to make it look better and this is one way to really do it. It's a cheap and easy way to do it. It's a great way for artists to express themselves. It's a great idea. It's actually adding to the Sydney culture. I think it's fantastic. I'm so, so needed, you know, so bland. Otherwise, what else would be here? Just bricks. I think it's brilliant, actually. Yeah, I think it needs to be all over because it's such a concrete jungle here. You don't feel it's, it's selling out doing this kind of thing? That's good. I swear. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> I see it as a great opportunity to even like launch pad careers into other realms, which is, you know, I don't see it as selling out. When people sit there and say, oh, it's selling out, it's selling out. It's only because they didn't come up with the idea beforehand or they didn't go and approach the councils beforehand. Is there anything else you wanted to add? I just think people should get out onto the streets and also approach their council. Makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under.